Ronnie Magsonok is one ideal point guard any basketball team would have. Not only does he have the playmaking savviness and superb skills, he is by far the best court general with his awesome smarts and leadership abilities that keep his teammates as a unit on the floor. He heralded that dynasty of sorts in the San Beda Red Cubs high school basketball team, climaxed with its last NCAA title in 1982 before the school's momentary sabbatical from the league. It truly won it all with Magsonok directing the plays, setting up scorers like Dindo Pumran, Jerry Esplana and Eric Altamirano in the Cubs' reign. By the time he bade goodbye to San Beda, he was at the crossroads, whether he would follow his peers in a mighty Ost glowing Goldies team or take an Ike at Jeep towards the UPM, where fabled coach Joe Lippa was waiting. He eventually stayed on that Jeep to its destination, with the Dealeman team really setting its sights on the much elusive UP crown with a frustrating runner-up finish in 1982 against Yui. Altamirano had already committed, and his decision would resume that winning Red Cubs backcourt tandem in the 1983 UP fighting Maroons roster. However, his first strides in the UP were not that triumphant, losing four straight to the league giants that included the Alan Kadic-led Yui Red Warriors and the Glenn Capacio bannered Fu Tamaraz. Despite this, Magsonok and the Maroons regained their composure and went on a shocking winning streak that brought them to the finals against Fu. Even with the prized rookie, the Maroons' efforts were not enough to stifle Fu's guns and up lost the championship again, to Lippa's utter frustration. And Magsonok would wait until his final year of eligibility, in 1986, when the answer to Up's prayers came. The powerful, young upstart Benji Paras, who also came from San Beda, became Magsonok's heaven-sent partner in executing offensive plays and building vaunted defensive walls against opponents. Their combination went non-stop, leading the Maroons to a second-place finish behind the Jerry Codden era led Yui. And with the missing piece to the puzzle already in place, Magsonok's promise was fulfilled, setting the stage for Paras, Joey Guineo, Joey Mendoza, and Duane Salvatierra to shine as the Maroons dominated Yui in the finals, overcoming the Warriors twice to beat Edge to bag its first ever championship in 47 years. While most would say Paras was the biggest factor behind the championship, he would not have achieved it had it not been for Magsonok, who was the Maroons' reliable court general, bringing composure and order to each play, overseeing a systematic rotation, and directing each teammate to play their roles in the court to successful execution.